What are your thoughts on the 145 division right now? Um, I, I, I think it's great, man. I think it's got a lot of tough people, man. I think it'll be growing into one of the more exciting, you know, faster-paced divisions sometime soon, man. I think that, uh, you know, the, the champion definitely needs some, uh, he needs some competition. So, some people step up and give him a good run and things, and it, it'll be cool, man. How happy are you fighting for the UFC? Oh, man, I'm stoked, man. I, uh, I love it, man. I love it. I really do. I just really got to prove myself and really, really solidify myself I got a lot of work to do that man so I'm just still grinding trying to trying to put in the works and pay my dues so that you know at the end of the day I can get a good job from the bosses there's a rumor going around that you had a bit of an issue with Bjorn Redman back in Bellator um, the, sto the rumor story was that after you lost to Aldo in the WEC that uh, Redman had came back and ripped your name off the wall saying we don't take WEC rejects yeah uh, is that a true story yeah yeah I mean uh, pretty much yeah well, what happened was after I lost to Jose out on the WEC, I didn't get another chance to come back to the WEC. So, Bellator was a new startup organization, and they they picked me up and signed me to a couple fights. And um, I won my first fight in a couple 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 seconds, man. And you know, submitted the dude, and and they said if I won the fight, they'd put me in the tournament. And then once I uh, once I won the fight real fast, they were like, yeah, he's pretty good. He, he could do really good in the tournament, so we can't put him in the tournament because he already lost to the champ of WEC. So if, if he's in the tournament, he wins the tournament, then, you know, he, we're just second rate to WEC. So they pretty much shafted me, too, and didn't give me another fight, didn't do anything with me. So we've had a pretty much, uh, that's pretty much kind of crazy right now. They're actually... And then we're in the middle of something going on, so it sucks. They, I don't know, I'm going to say they suck, but yeah, they suck. <laughs> Have you talked to Bjorn, or has anything, uh, has he seen you recently? Have you had a chance to say, hey, look at me now? No, man, fuck Bjorn, man. I don't even know that dude. He doesn't even know me either, man. He's just fucking, you know, he's just some dude that... I don't even think he knows what's going on. Why, I mean, you know, like, what their legal team or whatever is doing to me, I don't even think, he probably doesn't even know because he doesn't know me from a can of paint. Nobody knew what I was doing, you know. They, they put me on the back shelf and wrote me off and said they never want to use me again. Then I show up on the Ultimate Fighter and do well. Then all of a sudden they want, like, they want, they want to go after me. What do you mean by go after you, like? Like lawsuits and stuff, man. Regarding what? Regarding me being signed to them and, you know, and, you know, they, they cut me and said I can fight other places. I went and fought other places and won belts and they never said nothing and then I go to the UFC. Then they want to say something. And it's just, uh, you can't do that in the world. That's not, you know, you got a right to make a living. So if somebody tells you that you're free to go, then you're free to go, you know. So it's all—it's been an ongoing thing since 2010, man. So it's not behind you; it's still going on right now. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Well, one last question before I let you go: Is there anything you want to tell the MiddleEasty.com readers? Um, that you just got an exclusive story that nobody even knows about that. So keep that between you guys. <laughs>